Note the disclaimer, and remember that my Patreon supporters got to see preview images, work in progress shots, and high resolution images of the completed figure. If you want to join them, all you have to do is donate even the smallest amount. Link is below. Hello my friends, this is Wake Angel 2001 coming at you with the next part of Ryan's commission. It is Robo. A uh, pretty simple name. Um, uh, apparently it's kind of like Robo Knight from Power Rangers Super Mega Force with a suit on. I mean, um, it's kind of what I'm getting from here. Uh, the base toy is the Lex Luthor from Batman v Superman, which is probably the worst version of Lex Luthor that ever existed ever, but hey, you know, it's... That's neither here nor there. I'm just using him as a base figure. So modifications to the body required very little sculpting, just a little bit to the hands and feet to make him look a little bit more robot-y. And then um, the untucked shirt look on the pants. I uh, just had to add a little bit of sculpt to the side of that to make the shirt look a little more symmetrical so he's not such a freaking slob. Seriously, what the hell? Who thought that this was a good Lex Luthor? Um, and then basically repaint. Uh, turned his uh, slovenly... Um, like, I'm a fresh out of college moron millionaire desk guy. Like, I, I made him look classy is what I'm trying to say. With the silver trim and the black suit, it looks much better. And, uh, the arms are just basically, it. this is, this, the whole body is almost entirely a repaint except for very little sculpting. Now, Ryan actually sent me a Robo Knight figure because I think his original intention was for me to take the head from Robo Knight and stick it on the Lex Luthor body. But this wouldn't work for two reasons. One is that the Bandai Robo Knight figure, it has, um, the neck is part of the head, so you can't just pull the head off and stick it onto a DCUC buck because the body, is, like, the parts just aren't compatible. And there's also the other problem with the fact that Robo Knight is a 5 inch scale figure, while Lex is a 6 inch scale figure, so. You put a 5 inch head on a 6 inch body and it's going to look like he has some kind of tiny little baseball sized pin head and that just wouldn't work. So um, I used the head as a reference and you know they had to sculpt the head. So let's take a look at the head sculpting. Now I didn't make a perfect replication of the Robo Knight head because I wanted it to look more like the artwork that he sent me. So the visor is a little bit more square, the mouth plate looks a bit different. Um, although the side fins, I did try to match the shape for the Robo Knight head, you know, at least with like the way it has like a mane kind of thing and the little eyes right around the, like, like the visor looks like it's a creature's open mouth. Um, of course, symmetry is a little bit hard to do, so it's not perfectly symmetrical, but, you know, like that's just kind of the thing with handmade kits. You're not, it's not going to be perfect, but it'll be unique and it'll be all yours. And, um, actually, that's, that's the completed Robo Knight. There really wasn't much to this figure compared to, you know, usual. I mean, like, aside from the fact that he had a new head, it's mostly just a repaint. Kind of doing the Hasbro thing here, where I just put a new head on a repainted body and call it a different character. <laughs> Look at me, I'm, I just made a Transformer. Actually, he's a robot now, so yeah, that's, that works on two levels. Wow, look at me, I am meta here. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. I mean, I hated the, uh, Lex Luthor from the Batman v Superman movie. Nothing against the actor that played him. I know he was just working with what he was given, but, you know, it's almost like whoever made, like, I, well, the guys that made Batman v Superman, it seems to me like they had almost never heard of this, of the franchise before. Like, this was their first time actually hearing about it, and then they're making the movie. That's, that's, that, Batman v Superman was a bad movie. That's, like, I like Justice League, hated Batman v Superman. Alright, so, uh, I guess all the stuff for me to do is ramble, but, um, you don't want to hear that. We'll see you guys next time. I'll have another video up very soon.